So we came down to Charleston expecting it to be 65 and sunny, and here we are in the dead of winter. We might as well be in Boston in a nor'easter at this point. And the ice storm that came last night has been superseded by some snow. Good news is today it's going to be up to 41 degrees. We'll get a little bit of melting. And then uh, sometime next week, we hopefully will get out of here. But in the meantime, enjoy the snow. Kind of like on our Antarctic expedition. Can't imagine what it was like being on the Endurance. Have a look at the rigging here. It's, as you can see, completely frozen up, covered in ice. Poor dinghy, looking absolutely frozen. During the night, this halyard that we have running down to the tow rail here was banging it about a bit. So what we did, what I did, was woke up, came out, found another line. As you can see there, it's frozen solid, but works just as well as a gill guy, something to keep the how you from slapping on the rig in there. And the guest the visitor last night. And so, Hi, Carol. Hi, Michael. So, so it's 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 cold. It's brisk, but it's sunny today. We weathered the storm, and now we're out chipping ice off things. Mm -hmm. uh, but encouraged because it's blue sky, and it's not blowing like a bitch. So, the end is in sight. Another five days, and we should be out of here. <laughs> Excellent. Yay. What do you love? I love the frozen rigging in the stays. It's very pretty. The shimmering. But I see the mainsail has, has melted off. The sheet of ice on it. Which is a good sign. Yep. The thaw begins. Yeah. The great thaw. Oh, listen to that. Crackle. Oh, we could save it in our freezer. Cocktails! We won't have to make more ice. <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna we're have self sustainable. An ice storm cocktail. Right, here we go. We've got a chance to wash our enclosure, clean all our vinyl, chunks of ice, chunk of ice. It's nice and warm in here. No, that's good. <laughs> Relatively, anyway. Yeah. No, it really is. It's quite, quite pleasant. Yeah, so this is the enclosure. So this is what's been keeping us warm during the days. And we knew when we bought Alita that she had one because there was a photograph of the previous owners when they had taken her to Alaska and we just didn't know where it was and so as we were putting in the new electronics went into one of the cupboards and lo and behold there was a storage area behind the food locker and there was a very large dry bag and that dry bag contained all the elements and pieces of the full enclosure which has had actually very little use and so once you zip it up and the sun comes out, it really does warm up in here. It's really quite splendid, actually. Yeah, that's what started. Can you imagine what it's like not having the enclosure? No, I can't even. We wouldn't have left. We would have waited until April or May before we left Annapolis had we not had the wonderful enclosure. The thing that keeps us 
at least warmer, if not blinded. 